Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and it's time for episode 4 of Fear the Walking Dead. So we only got two episodes left in part A. And so far, the story hasn't been that great. You know, the first episode was pretty... Eh. You know, we got a little bit of backstory. You know, Mo is is with Podge right now. There was a little there was a time jump of like seven years or something like that. Um, you know, and then we heard, you know, Morgan was like, Yeah, they got you because I couldn't take care of you and feed you and support you and stuff like that. Despite he did it in a nuclear wasteland while hiding out in a submarine. Okay. Um the second episode was a little bit better. Um, you know, we found out they were doing some pretty horrible experimenting on people and walkers and stuff like that. So that episode was a little bit better. Uh, and then the third episode, we got more backstory. We found out, you know, the, the bird names and we got kind of the a big reveal of what Padre is and what they're doing and stuff like that. Apparently... You know, they got all these shipping containers full of supplies and stuff like that. And they were supposed to go out and, you know, find other communities and, and trade with them and stuff like that. And then, you know, the father ended up getting killed. Um, and instead they decided, well, we didn't know what to do. So we thought we would kidnap children away from their parents because, you know, having your parents die is a horrible thing. They kids shouldn't have to go through that like they did when they saw their father getting you know eaten and stuff like that which great job you know teaching your son how to handle walkers like 12 years into the apocalypse and <laughs> walkers you know i mean jesus even at that point eugene <laughs> Eugene had no problem killing walkers, you know, I mean, he was, you know, he, he was pretty freaked out by walkers, but I mean, um, he stepped up in, in what, season, what was it, season six, the, the, the famous No Way Out episode, when, when everybody went out into Alexandria, when it was completely swarmed by walkers, and everybody was fighting them off, even Eugene went out, and he had, um, no problem killing walkers, but yet this kid, still terrified of walkers and he was like a major or a captain or something like that in the army like didn't teach your son anything any type of survival or training or how to handle walkers instead he was like a little bitch okay um but yeah, they're like, yeah, we don't know what to do, so we're just going to kidnap children because, you know, like I said, uh, kids seeing parents die is rough. So instead, we're going to kidnap them and be like, yeah, your parents abandoned you, so we took you in. Like, that'll make things easier on a child. Yeah, your parents just kind of gave you up. Like, okay, I guess. All right. I don't know so that was just kind of like a huge like you know um i don't know it would have been better if it was like tied to i don't know crm or something like that i don't know they, they kidnap children train them up and then they trade them trade them to crm for supplies and crm takes the children and I don't know, trains them to become CRM soldiers or something like that. I don't know, you know, anything instead of seeing a parent die is, is so hard. So we're just going to kidnap you and save you from that. So, yeah, there we go. There's, there's Padre's big ta-da, you know. I don't know. Um, I did hear another YouTuber say... Um, he was kind of confused by when that girl who was looking for her folder and stuff like that, you know, when she saw that, you know, Madison, what, killed her mother or something like that? Like, how did they, what did he say? Like, uh, she said that they overheard them or they knew or something like that when it was only just the three of them, Morgan, Madison, and uh, that girl's mother. So how did 
they know what Madison did and killed her mother? I have no idea. I don't know. Um, yeah, this, this isn't looking so good for a final season. You know, I don't know how much hope I got left for story-wise. Um, Episode-wise, we get a couple of cool things, I think, happening. You know, uh, from the end of episode three, we saw they had all those walkers still... Um, you know chained up and stuff like that so i mean they'll probably release them once the parents come i'm sure it'll be like some cool shootouts and a, you know like a cool battle and stuff like that so i mean that's that's pretty cool and from the looks of the title of this episode here episode four uh king county uh it said morgan morgan's return to king county gets complicated when padre comes to collect um so a apparently padre is not that far from king county which is pretty interesting, kind of close. And two, I mean, this could be a very cool looking episode to go all the way back to King County, um, you know, and being able to see, you know, like Morgan's house, um, you know, maybe we'll see like other um, landmarks and stuff, especially from like the first episode, you know, maybe Morgan goes to or goes by um, the gas station, yeah, the gas station, you know, where Rick was like, little girl, little girl, you okay? And, you know, she turns around and that's when Rick sees, you know, the walker and, you know, he shoots and kills her. I think it'd be kind of cool if Morgan, you know, went by that and we saw the body or what's left of the decomposed body. I mean, probably just a skeleton now. But I think it'd be kind of cool to see, like, the decomposed body of that little girl that Rick shot and killed in the first episode. That would be cool. Um, you know, it just seems like some of these other, you know, other iconic places, you know, maybe he goes by and sees Bike Girl. You know, what's left of Bike Girl. Um, maybe he goes by, um, uh, uh, what, the sheriff's office? or the, the yeah the sheriff's office and stuff like that and um who knows maybe that walker um you know rick killed um uh, th through the fence you know he, walker was on one side of the fence and you know rick put the gun there and you know shot and killed him and his hand just kind of ding 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 down the down the chain link fence um i think it'd be kind of you know cool to see you know like that type of stuff so i mean this episode does have potential to at least be pretty cool you know going all the way back to the beginning so <clears throat> i don't know but as for the story and stuff like that so far it's not looking good um i don't know don't know how it's going to end and stuff like that uh at least hopefully an ending is good to the whole thing not just to the first part but like the ending of the show hopefully at least that's good I don't know. I'll we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, that is enough talking for me. And let's jump right into episode four, which is King County. Here we go. King County. We're home. I'm here. So is this Morgan's actual house because this wasn't the house he was hiding in when he saw Rick because there was a couple of stairs and then there was like a little walkway and there was a couple other stairs and Rick was sitting on the bottom stairs when Dwayne bashed him in the face no. I can do it I can kill you damn Nice moves. Remember, Morgan doesn't die. That was pretty cool. The blood splatter almost looks like the three rings of CRM. Almost. Oh, 
Oh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> that was How close. How did you find me? You asked me to come. No, I did not. I was working at the repeater station and you sent me an SOS. It was coded like we talked about. There's Nobody knew what was coming here. <laughs> just me. You got a stowaway. You know you're just gonna get yourselves killed. Yeah, I know she's getting closer. What are you doing here? You get the same message that Grace did? No. I'm the one who sent it. Does this have something to do with Jenny and Blaine? The names were on the wall too. Shouldn't be here. Who are they? You need to take her away from here. It's his weapon, son. Is that why you're here? Came here. To do what he couldn't do we all those years ago. We were looking for food. And we were always looking for food. And I went down into the basement. And oh, okay. The so this was a different house they were hiding in. Because I'd say the original house the was, was very different looking. You know, when they came across the Rick. Because when I came out, there she was. His mother standing right opposite him, but she wasn't his mother anymore. Before I could even get my gun up, Jenny was on top of him. Ran and left him here. Left my boy to become one of them. Where'd you go? Damn, feel bad for Morgan. I don't know. Did you follow? Oh. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Uh oh. We got flares. Over there. What are you doing here? How'd you find me? We're here to take you back. We heard the message you sent Grace. That message was coded. Coordinates and dock of the bay, Morgan. You really think we wouldn't figure that out? Padre's got your son, doesn't he? He's using him against you. Damn right he is. When we bring you back, he's given Finch and us freedom to go wherever we want. You can't believe it. We'll take our chances. And that's why they're doing this. Right, we know what'll happen to Finch if we don't bring you back. Look, we have two guards babysitting us. And yeah, we rode ahead to sweep the town. So if I were you, I'd make your decision right now before they catch up. Kill the guards. We're approaching. What's your status? There is something I have to do first. <clears throat> so. Run. Go. Hey, stop! I'm gonna... All right, cut them off at the entrance. Oh, okay. So we're kind of back at the house. I mean, obviously the outside is going to be a little bit different. They probably couldn't get the same exact house they filmed them back in season one, but the inside. Kitchen's through here and the cupboards they may be oil lamps. Extra oil in the lows. And Grace up on the second floor front bedroom. The Maybe a rifle if there is under the bed. There'll be extra ammo in a shoebox. Morgan. We're gonna need that rifle. Walkers are gonna find us before Dwight and Sherry do. Dwayne was little, he had a dog named Mitch. Used to follow him everywhere, bark at everybody else. One time she got too close to the wrong end of a skunk. She smelled worse than me. But she had to be where Dwayne was at, so. Do you think it'll ever be like that again? Maybe one day. I think if we do things right, we might have the chance to make it even better. Give everybody that second chance that they deserve. The walkers, they're gonna leave Dwight and Sherry here. Yeah, they'll head off soon. When they do, I want you to take Mo as far north as your truck will get them. Where are you going? I gotta take care of Dwayne. Then I will He's catch got some up unfinished to business. Regroup with Madison and Daniel. You have to come with us now. I need to put my boy to rest. You just told Mo you wanted a second chance. 
This might be the only one you get. I he needs to put the past behind him. This is exactly what I was doing when we first met. I'm listening. We're trying to make this easy on you. You're the one that's making it hard. Don't forget that. No, it didn't take too long to find him. Maybe we can still make that deal. No, I think it's too late for that. We're waiting, Morgan. Then you can keep waiting. Okay, then tell us what it's like. It's my boy. Son, he died here. In one of the houses close by. I came back to bury him. Sorry, Morgan, but we have our son to think about, too. I wanted to put her to rest. Didn't want Dwayne to have to see his mother like that. A man named Rick Grimes gave me this rifle to do right by her, and I. I still want to see that reunion. Rick and Morgan. I must have come back here after Dwayne died. What does Claire mean? Claire? <laughs> it's when I was killing you. Know, you don't want to know. I was killing anything and anyone who came anywhere near me. I'm sorry we wasted all that time, Morgan. Oh. Maybe this you up. Uh oh. Oh. What I'm surprised it? Jenny's still in this area after all this time. Trying to burn us out. Rick, he gave you this gun for a reason. Use it. Damn right. Ready? Here we go. Right, Morgan's got that power of Rick Grimes in a mouth. The moment of truth. I'm telling the truth. You can take me back to Padre if you have to. But promise me you'll get Mo out of that house. It's surrounded by walkers. We'll make sure she's okay. Ready? Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. It's not him. It's not him. Yep, wait. it's not him. Truth. Nope. It's not him. It's not him. Nope, that's, that's not him. Please leave a message after the beep. You can talk to him after I talk to my son. 
Oh, so... Did they cure Hello? him? Did they... Hey, bud. Find a cure? How are you feeling? I think the treatment worked. Got sick. The chimney sweep? Do it now. Oh! <laughs> Good work. Yeah, she's out. Now what? We're going to find her. You get away from that door, you hear me? We'll be there. Come on, Morgan. No, you should go. You're her best shot. No, I'm not Morgan. You saw what happened to me outside that house. You have to watch. Dwayne's going to be outside you that have house. To put it behind you. you can. Neither can I. And one child to save the other. I'm sick, Morgan. I know this isn't what you want to hear, especially now. But you have got to get her out of that house. Oh, so she's dying. How long have you known? A few months. Oh wow. I was starting to feel sick, so I went to go find a hospital, and I did a scan. Radiation, I'm assuming. Price for chasing the dead Morgan, and I don't want you to do the same. You can't do the same. I'm gonna get them. That's actually a really cool looking shot. The shadow of Morgan and stuff like that. The fire in the background of the building. That's actually very cool. God, every walker we sees. And there he is. Yep. Come on, Morgan. Stay there, stay there. Dad, help me! Yep. In season one to now, it's okay, Morgan. You finally did it. It's over. You didn't let it happen again. Well, there you, you go. You got something. Remember what they were like before. Oh. Well, that would came out of nowhere. Come here. That was close. Okay? You didn't get bit? No, I'm fine. Uh-oh. It's happening again. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we gotta get out of here before they spot us. So I guess he's healing? Sneak Although he like still looks pretty pale, so... Do you think they saw us? Oh. Oh. We got one You're pissed right. off Morgan now. Help with Grace. She got bit. The treatment that June has been using on your boy. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, he's doing okay. Then we gotta get Grace to June. No matter what's coming, we have to live. So I guess they did right. find a cure, I guess. So interesting that they found a cure and not CRM. I promise. Like this ragtag community found a cure. Okay, so there we go. There is episode four. Um, that episode actually wasn't that bad, seeing how it really didn't involve too much Padre. It seems like the Padre stuff is just kind of like, eh, and kind of, I don't know, ruins the story. But like that one there, which had little to hardly hardly anything to do with Padre was actually pretty good you know we did go back to Kings County and you know we saw the uh, I guess the second house Morgan 
and Dwayne and stuff like that were staying at. And then we kind of went back to the original house that they were staying at, you know, when we uh, got Rick, even though the outside was a little bit, a little bit different, they probably couldn't film, you know, the, the same house and stuff like that. But the inside looked exactly the same. You know, he had the mattress right there in the middle where, you know, Dwayne was reading his comics and stuff. And he had the kitchen table and stuff where, you know, Rick in the blanket and, and Morgan and Dwayne sitting there and stuff like that. And, you know, do you know what's going on outside? And, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, I mean, that was that was a pretty cool little uh, trip down memory lane, if you will. Um, I guess at the beginning, I kind of thought we were going to see more Kings County. But, uh, you know, being like, oh, maybe we'll see, like, um, Bicycle Girl and, and the first walker Rick killed. You know, a little, little girl and stuff like that. But no, they just kept it to, uh, you know, the houses and stuff like that. Um, so I guess did Morgan kill Jenny, even though he was still, you know, seeing her face everywhere and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if he really did put her down. Did he? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No, he couldn't do it. That's why. Um, yeah. So I guess he did in this episode. Was one of them actually her? Because I know he was seeing her face as every single walker. So I don't know if one of them was, was actually her and he actually did do it. Uh, but then, of course, we did see Dwayne, who was up in the um, attic there, chained up. And I kind of thought it was going to happen. Got to end one child, in a way, to save the other one. You know, kind of knew something was going to happen. And, you know, Mo was going to get in trouble and... Dwayne was going to be the one threatening her and would force Morgan to, okay, I have to do this to save her. So, yeah, so Morgan, after all that time, finally did it. But, yeah, that was actually a uh, pretty decent episode. Like I said, when it's not involving, like, all this Padre stuff, actually pretty good. So, and um, I guess they found a cure, which is interesting um you know that you've got like this little ragtag group of people finding allegedly found a cure for it meanwhile you got like crm with like actual legit scientists and and you know medical people and i mean as far as we know you know because we really haven't seen too much of it they don't have a cure? I don't know. Unless it's not actually a full cure and, you know, kind of just slows the effects or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it just seems kind of strange that, like, this ragtag padre group, you know, can, can find a cure. But, you know, a fully fledged, you know, group with hundreds of thousands of people with scientists and medical personnel and actual structure and, and infrastructure and stuff like that can't, you know, at least as far as we know, you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be kind of interesting, I guess, uh, I guess going forward, seeing, seeing what happens, if it is an actual cure or if it's just something that just kind of slows the effects. I mean, for all we know, uh, Dwight and Sherry's son could still die, um, you know, I don't know. We'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so there we go. So that was episode four. Uh, I'd probably say like best episode out of the four so far. I'd probably put that as my number one episode. And it really, like I said, it really had nothing to do with Padre, very little. Um, so yeah, I mean, we still got two more episodes. Who knows? Maybe one of the other two episodes might be. Uh, might be better i don't know but um yeah so far this episode here is probably like the best of the four so far so anyways uh let me know what did you guys think did you like the episode did you not like the episode did you like that uh, morgan finally put down dwight after all those years um you know do you think they did find an actual cure um what do you think about them finding a cure and crm apparently as far as we know haven't you know, um, you know, what do you think about that? Do you think someone's immune? You know, uh, Madison's immune or something like that. I don't, 
I don't know what type of, you know, experiments, something with radiation and stuff. I don't know. Um, yeah, just, just let me know what you guys think. Leave me all your thoughts and comments. And uh, other than that, um, uh, I got to try to find another time to make another Walking Dead filming update video because there's a whole bunch of new pictures for Rick and Michonne. Uh, lots of really cool stuff, a bunch of helicopters flying. Um, yeah, apparently they ta uh, attacked a uh, like a CRM outpost and stuff like that because there's like before pictures and after pictures and there's like a giant CRM banner. It looks nice and clean and then after it's like all torn and ripped and shredded and stuff like that. Um, and uh, just today, as I was before I made this video, uh, apparently Carol's in France. Carol has been spotted in France, so it looks like she will be joining uh, Daryl in season two of the Daryl spinoff. Yeah, because someone uh, snapped a picture of her in in a, in a van in I forget what what area of France, but yeah, Carol's in France. So there we go. So I got to try to find time to make a filming update video. Hopefully, I can. I don't know. I have to find time. But anyways, other than that, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Link's in the description box below. Come over and join me on Discord. I'm trying to get more active over there, so come and join me over there. And other than that, um, yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.